Hello, welcome back again to another episode of Skater 123. Today we're going to be talking about the MCC DAC Hat Basic 2.0 version. This is an upgrade from the 1.0. A lot of nice things have been added. I hope you appreciate. Uh, a lot of it you won't see in the background, such as a nice multi-frame capability to allow you to add and remove windows real easy in your code in the background like these as well as lots more additional things to give you things like your high-speed data that gives you AC capabilities as well as the standard basics that's pulled straight off the MCC DAC that wasn't done with Tkinter, just your basic print I.O. that you'd see in the shell. You'd have your basically single value read here uh, let's give you a quick example of that. Basically, you got your samples, your sample interval, which is just a simple delay, nothing fancy, no straight time base. You got your channels low and high. Zero and one on this system currently is set up for an AC signal, whereas channels two through seven are a DC. So, since this is a slow input, let's just take a quick look at these and we'll show you. You click on the start and she'll just wrap up. You'll see it acquiring the data as you get 10 points. You can hit stop if you're doing a long one in between. That one was pretty fast so there's no point, but you can see the values what you read there. You'll also see printouts down here in the shell. Uh, in addition, you also got information here in your scroll box to kind of give you the status of how things are going, what's going on to give you some general information. Now, if you wish to later, you can also add your own pandas table. Just a quick, simple import on that. You've all got it set up. You just have to add it yourself and you're off and running. That basically will get to our configuration. If you want to take a quick look here, you'll have a config INI file that's with that. Let's just open that up quickly. Simple text editor. And you can see you basically got your options and your statuses. They're all ones and zeros for enable or disable. You got your scroll and your math plot here. You've got your pandas table, which is an add on. Uh, and you've also got your board set up. So for the 118, it's got an address of zero and the 152 address two. So you can quickly set up and define how you want your system to run with pretty much changing nothing but your settings here. Now, like I said, there's a pandas table that's not enabled there. I'll show you that later in another episode. Now, let's get back to our MCC DAC. Okay, so we've acquired all the data. Let's do a quick draw. And you can see you've got nice straight DC signal lines here. This is basically just voltage dividers, so you can see you're going 5.1, 4.7, and so on all the way down. These are nice straight lines because it's just fixed value resistors. Now, if you want to define that a little bit better, you have your Y min and Y max here to zoom in. Plus minus 10 is the standard default since that's the wide range capability of the MCC 118 board. Now, since we're just doing simple positive ACs, let's throw this to zero. And we know we've got less than six. We're at 5.1 there. So let's just call this six and let's redraw that. Boom, there you go. Now you got a little bit better definition. You can kind of see what things look like there. In addition, you also got the capability to save the data, so you'll see the actual numbers. You can look at it in Libre Excel type stuff, whatever you want. There's also the pandas that I'll show you later where it's basically a simple spreadsheet. Now you also have on the plot draw, which is the same thing, only it's got its own individual figure rather than being embedded. So you got the two capabilities. You can pick one, use both, whatever you like. Uh, you can see you've, it's same thing and as well as you've got the additional little file stuff down here on both of these that's built in for the MATLAB plot. Uh, so now that you got that, let's take a quick look here. That was our slow DC. You can do the same thing here. You've got a continuous scan that's just going to keep running at whatever fixed rate. Takes it all in blocks and kind of averages them out to give you a general gist. You've got 
finite scan, which takes a little bit farther. That'll give you your blocks and your total samples with your scan rate. You can select all your channels that you want here. You don't have to do them in order. You can do one, two, seven, whatever you like. Click the start, click the stop. You've got a trigger capability that's going to basically just sit there and wait till it's triggered. So if you're doing a fast speed, you can wait for that specific signal to trigger before you start doing a whole data dump. Now, one additional thing that's not really included with the Dakar basic stuff was a high speed for analog. Kind of threw this in as pretty much the similar. This uses your num your scan NumPy though instead, which is a nice new add-on that MCC DAC did. So let's just we'll do our standard 60 samples. We'll do it at a 1200 rate. Now let's just do channel zero and one. We'll do a quick start. Boom, got it. This is just simple final value type stuff. So now if we do our embedded draw, take a look at it, boom, you can see your AC signal. You can change these, zoom in if you want, whatever. Uh, you also got your same plot draw that you can do here to kind of get the same thing, see the gist. You can see your 60 hertz, nice simple signal, beautifully recorded there. Now I hope you appreciate that. I'll show you some more later if you want. Stop by the link on the bottom there. Appreciate you checking it out. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.